Welcome back to Rich Words Music, where today we're doing something a little bit different, because from August the 20th to August the 23rd, I've been invited to 42 Gear Street 3, and I need your help. So what is 42 Gear Street? Well, it's an event that's been run by Henning Pauli, otherwise known as HP42, for the past three years. And what Henning likes to do is bring together a team of his favourite YouTube channels and a team of his favourite music instrument production companies. I'm talking his favourite guitar producers, his favourite pedal builders, his favourite amp companies, his favourite plug-in makers, his favourite mic companies, and a few more select friends. And he'll bring them together with a crack team of media producers, switchers, and production assistants and his beloved family of random animals that just seem to roam wherever they please at Henning's place will all converge on Henning's abode in central Germany in the middle of nowhere and what will happen over four days is that videos will be made, food will be consumed and a very good time will be had by all. But it's not just about having a good time. Oh no, I've worked this event twice before. It's definitely not just about having a good time because Henning's idea behind it, which is kind of genius, is that the YouTubers and the people from the brands will have time to forge friendships and relationships together. And what that means is that the channels and the brands will get to make videos together at the event, but they'll also be able to do that in the months and the years to come. So 42 Gear Street, while being an extremely fun event for all those involved, is actually very, very useful indeed. And in terms of all our favorite YouTube channels, it helps them get products on in future that they can use to make cool videos for us all to enjoy. And I'm extremely happy that I get to be there as a YouTube channel this year, because in my previous day job for Hughes & Kettner, I worked 42 Gear Street as a brand. So I'm something of a veteran at this event, but I've never done it from a YouTuber perspective. And that's where you come in, because I want your help telling me what you think I should do. Now, there's a bunch of awesome YouTubers there and a bunch of great brands too, and I'm excited to work with as many people as I can. But realistically, in four days, I'm probably not going to have the chance to do that. So please write down in the comments who you think I should do videos with, be it YouTubers, be it brands, be it guitars, pedals. Just put your thoughts down there and I shall take all of it to heart and try and do as much for you guys as I can. But let's just have a look at who's going to be there then. These are the YouTubers and it's a really, really good crew this year. And me. So we've got Adam from Hot Pole Studios in the UK. We've got Alex Nasler, one of the ones I haven't met in person yet. Ryan from 60 Cycle Hums coming over from America, as is Glenn Fricker from Spectre Sound Studios. Andy the Guitar Geek is gonna be there, of course, as is Henning himself. This is Jamie Humphreys from Six String Alliance, an amazing player just like John Brown from the UK. Kafir, the king of covers, is going to be there, as is Krenar Chilku, another guy I haven't met yet. Christian Kohler-Keller, a great German producer. Lee Fuge, an amazing Welsh up-and-coming YouTuber. Max Solos coming down from Berlin. Mike from China Guitar Skeptics is going to be there. The awesome Paul Davids is there. Perfecto de Castro, one of my favorite new Latin American channels. German Instagrammer Philly Wernerson, that guy, whoever that is. Elevated Jam Tracks will be there, of course, the faceless Tom and Trey from Gear Gods makes up the YouTuber contingent. So it's a massive, amazing, varied range of channels who are going to be there. There's people like me who have less than a thousand subscribers, and there's people like Paul Davids who have over two and a half million. So everything from absolutely minuscule through to pretty much the biggest cheese in the YouTube guitar gear game. Now, as alongside the YouTubers, we've got a bunch of amazing brands too, also encompassing pretty Pretty much every aspect of the musical instrument industry. So let's go through those quickly so you can see who's going to be there. We've got Bagali, who make amazing aluminium or aluminum guitar necks for eternal sustain. We've got Boutique Amps Distribution, and that will encompass everything from Friedman Amps and Wampler pedals to Tone King Amps, Bogner, and more. We've got Engel Amps are going to be there from Germany. Face Distribution, a great European distribution company, will be bringing a bunch of amazing pedals. We've got Harmony and Heritage Guitars, so that's pretty exciting. Ibanez Guitars and Ever Present Face are going to be there, which I'm really happy about. IK Multimedia is coming this year, so we've got some pretty cool plugins there to look at. Chris from Jupiter Effects is going to be coming back. We've got Lewitt Mics again. Lewitt Mics are always there. Super cool company. Line 6 are also going to be there, so some interesting Helix action could be afoot. Maybach Guitars are going to be there, a great European-based builder of classically themed electric guitars. 
Maya Distribution's also going to be there from Germany. And Maya Sound are a distribution company who have lots of cool brands. They're bringing two, Schechter and Sterling by Music Man. So that's pricked my attention already. I'm really interested to see what's going to be there from those two brands. Nick Huber is also there, purveyors of some of the finest and possibly most expensive electric guitars known to man, but absolutely stellar instruments. The very best one that I played last year was a Nick Huber. I've never played a better instrument than that. Absolutely sublime. PJD Guitars is also going to be there, and that's an up-and-coming UK-based builder who I've heard a lot about, so very excited to see what they've got. Red 7 Amplification is coming across from Italy, excited to check them out. And Rev are going to be there from Canada as well. Now Rev Amps are another ever-present face at these YouTuber events. They've given amazing support to brands and YouTubers over the years. So they'll be there with the D20, the G20, the Generator and more, I guess. Sadly, not in person, but the Amps will give us the Rev experience anyway. Sennheiser mics are going to be there and that's going to be pretty interesting. Spectre Digital is there as a sponsor and that's a company fronted in part by Glenn Fricker from Spectre Sound studios. Sweetwater are a sponsor this year too. Now Sweetwater are sponsoring the whirlpools that I think are in Henning's garden. I shan't be going in those whirlpools by the way. Sweetwater if you don't know is one of the biggest online North American gear retailers. Two Notes are also going to be there and their Captor technology will be in the four studios processing all the guitar sounds and bringing them to our ears via the magic of their two notes technology. And alongside the bigger brands, there's also something really cool happening this year. Now, Chris from Jupiter Effects has put together a builder board of smaller independent pedal companies who won't be there in person, but Henning has found out a way to get them here, to have their products, to get them into the hands of the YouTubers. So on the builder board, we've got Dead Wheeled Audio, Ground Effects, FFX, Frost Giant, Fuzz Imp, Tate Effects, TX pedals and Xander circuitry. So that is an absolute explosion of amazing YouTube video makers and amazing brands and bits of equipment. And here's why I need your help. There's so much of it, I'm not really sure what I should focus on. Should I go after guitars? Should I go after pedals? Should I go after other YouTubers? Let me know what you'd like to see me do at the event. Now, I have a lot of cool plans to do some of my own stuff anyway, but as I said before, whatever you guys would like to see me do, I will try my best to get to as much of it as I can. So leave me your thoughts, leave me your comments, and we'll see what we can do. But 42 Gear Street 3 is going to be an absolutely stellar event. I'm really, really excited to experience it from the perspective of a YouTuber this time, as opposed to the perspective of someone working for or one of the brands at the show. I'm really looking forward to making new friendships and seeing some people who I haven't seen since last year. Henning has assured us that it's going to be a very safe event in terms of COVID-19 regulations. There will be hand disinfectant absolutely everywhere, just like last year. I'm sure there will be separator screens to make sure that we don't breathe on one another. And like I said, I'm not going in the whirlpools anyway. But that's been it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it, despite there not being a proper gear review or comparison in it. If you're new to the Rich Words Music channel, drop me a like and subscribe please because there is going to be loads and loads of gear stuff coming up in the near future as we've seen from this video and I've got a lot of other stuff planned too. But that's been it for today. Check out all the other channels who are going to be at 42 Gear Street. Drop over to Henning's channel and thank him for putting the event together and I will see you on the other side of 42 Gear Street 3. Rich out. <laughs>